Hi, I'm Tony Visconti. I'm a record producer, friend of David Bowie for 48 years, and I've produced about half of his album output. I met David Bowie one afternoon in the office of my uh, publisher. We instantly bonded because I loved all things British, he loved all things American, and we had just all this stuff in common. When I hear Space Oddity now, it, it does take me back. You know, it's 50 years ago. Um, it takes me back to a good space. It's not even nostalgia. I think this is the original demo. When I first heard Space Oddity, I thought it was a novelty track. There's an astronaut up there and you've written a song about it and you know, it's probably a hundred people did as well. That's his friend Hutch Hutchinson playing, singing this part. Because David couldn't do two voices yet. It was just a cassette, you know. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. I recommended a, a, a good mate of mine. His name was Gus Dudgeon. He really wanted to work with David. So I put the two of them together. I, I said, go to Gus. He'll do a great job. And when I, I heard it, you know, I'll use the term, I was gobsmacked. It was so good. It's really quite an amazing track for its time. It's incredibly modern sounding. Well, in the, in the, new, the new mix, the two, 2019 mix, I did uh, make everything sound a bit wider and a bit fuller. Um, there's, it's only an eight track recording, that was, but there was what you call bounce downs, like the drums and bass are recorded on the same track, so it's almost impossible to divide them. If Gus was alive, I'm sure he would have been asked to remix it. Ground control to Major Tom. I remixed it in all due respect to him and to David and everyone else on it. But I was able to do things that you couldn't do back in the day. I got, I managed to get the kick drum out more. So now you realize uh, with the new mix what a funky track it is. The other thing is the gorgeous uh, arrangement by Paul Buckmaster is really great now. I mean, you could, you're hearing more of it, more of the parts, the interaction with the Mellotron and that. This spacey stuff is extremely beautiful. David Bowie is already there. His vocal sounds terrific. Ground control to Major Tom. You actually probably hear more of him than on the original mix. Ground control to Major Tom. Almost as if he was singing for you only. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. Now he was about 22 years old there and he already had the, one of the greatest voices in the world. It brings out all kinds of, you know, sad emotions, happy emotions, but I just get emotional in general by hearing his solo voice. Space Oddity endures after 50 years because it is many things to different people. Uh, David said that it was about isolation and he used the astronaut in space as the metaphor. I didn't actually know that at first. He didn't tell me that around the time. The song was written in that spirit, you know, being isolated in this little capsule, but seeing the universe from your window. This is what I'm trying to get across in the mix. Therefore, you're going to be traveling through this mix. Things will go by you, things will be around you, uh, behind you, things will be in front of you, coming towards you. Space Oddity, is gotta, it's gotta be, for you, an immersive experience. When I first heard Sony 360, I was quite amazed. In the headphones, it was remarkable how you could hear things behind you and above you. I think it'll be a treat to hear things that you thought you knew very well. If this will bring out hidden detail, for sure, for sure it would. Of course, in a stereo mix, the density is focused on two channels, you know, which creates the third illusory uh, middle channel. But with this, the music is separated out and you will now hear new stuff you've never heard before. You have the app on your phone to play this with? That's pretty amazing to 
do something that normally you would have to have seven speakers in your front room to hear this immersive sound, you now can take it with you anywhere. You might have heard Space Oddity 200 times. When you hear this, I guarantee you will listen another 200 times. It's, gonna be, it's a new way of hearing the song. He would love 360. He would definitely embrace it, have all the gear, get the music for it. Yeah, he would love it.